Rainy Day music, yeah, it's hard to believe it's been 20 years, and I didn't realize it until you mentioned it. It was the first record where I really sang and played acoustic live, meaning didn't overdub it. We had a producer named Ethan Johns, and he really encouraged me to, to do that. Even though the earlier records sometimes sounded live, they were more overdubbed. It's probably the, the record that plays the best live because it's uh, because it was sung and performed live, and it's got a little bit more of an up-tempo, upbeat feeling, which uh, works better live than something like a record sound of lies, which is a darker, heavier, uh, you gotta be in the mood. So Rainy Day was our biggest selling record. Um, I think people sometimes think it was Hollywood Town Hall or Tomorrow the Green Rest, but it was Rainy Day music, and uh, I don't know, I look back fondly, fondly at that period, and uh, I just still can't believe it's been 20 years.